With less than 10 days to go until Bridgerton Season 3 Part 2 gets released, Netflix have put out a two-minute trailer that most certainly sets the scene and tone for all that's to come. The first half of the show was all about giving Penelope what she wanted with the love interests Debling and Colin. But this one seems all about her facing the threat of her losing the happiness that she's on the cusp of getting in her life. So with that, let's delve into the trailer and break down all that there was to take away from it. Plus, I'll also give my theories and predictions. So let's get into it. Here is Bridgerton Season 3 Part 2 Trailer Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. So the trailer for the next part of the season opened up with the voiceover from Lady Whistledown saying, Dearest gentle reader, an announcement came last night at great speed. Alongside that, there was a shot of Colin walking in with Penelope in front of Violet and his sisters. There was a moment where they embraced and happiness was front and center. It seems like at this moment, it's going to be announced to his family that they're engaged. Violet also said, I'm delighted for you both, which shows us that Penelope is going to be welcomed into the family with open arms. In the background of this scene though, there was something interesting. It was Eloise who was just standing there looking in complete shock at what she was hearing. She obviously knows that Penelope is Lady Whistledown and Colin swore to reveal the identity of Lady Whistledown in the very first episode of season three if he were to ever find out who it was. So this means that Eloise is stuck between a rock and a hard place of not wanting to lie to her brother, but also not to ruin the life of her friend. The voiceover that we heard at the start of the trailer seems to be part of an announcement that Lady Whistledown is going to be sending out as Marcus was sitting with his sister Lady Danbury in the following shot and he said how Colin was betrothed to Penelope Featherington. This is something which will most definitely come as a shock to many of the people as they never really looked at Penelope as a suitable match. It also seemed like Benedict was reading the announcement and Penelope's sisters and mother were hearing about it for the first time in the announcement too as they spat out their tea whilst it was being read to them. Lady Danbury then said, who needs fresh air when there's fresh gossip? Something which concluded with a close-up shot of Queen Charlotte looking like she was thinking of a plan. I'm presuming this is going to be the financial reward that's going to be in place for anybody that can find the identity of Lady Whistledown, the task that Queen Charlotte will be leading. The next part of the trailer then felt like it was all about the wedding preparations that were taking place. Penelope's mother mentioned how she wanted everybody in the ton to know what was taking place. There was also a moment where Penelope and Colin were in the church together and she mentioned to him how she'd always loved him and that there was nothing in the world that made her happier than when she was with him. After this, there was then a scene between Eloise and Penelope where Eloise confronted Penelope and mentioned how she knew that she hadn't told Colin about being behind Lady Whistledown. To which Penelope then begged Eloise not to tell him, as if he were to find out, it would quite literally ruin all of the happiness that she'd just got in her life. The following section then saw Kate and Anthony return, as the last we saw of them was during the start of season three when they decided to get away, because they felt as though Violet was being a bit too overbearing with the both of them following them getting married. So I imagine they're going to be integrated into the story a bit more now, as it seems like it's all about siblings being coupled up. It seems like Anthony is going to be having doubts over Colin getting married to Penelope, as he said that it all seemed rather sudden. But Colin feels as though because he's known her a long time, their bond was strong, and he knew everything that he needed to know about her, which obviously, we know, isn't the case at all. It also teased a scene which looks like it could match the carriage scene in terms of what it offered with regards to intimacy. In the second half of the trailer, it seemed like there was an event that was taking place where they were celebrating Penelope and Colin's engagement, and Penelope's mother called them the match of the season. What was interesting about this was that in the room where the event was taking place, we saw all of the siblings essentially coupled up. So there was Francesca and Lord Kilmartin, something which showed that they were progressing. Benedict and Lady Tilly Arnold, showing that they were also developing. Plus, we also know that Anthony and Kate were there as well. It seems like Eloise is still going to be disappointed in Penelope, not being 100% honest with Colin, as during the toast, she said, here's to truly knowing each other, completely. This was met with a response from Colin and Penelope looking worried on their faces. Colin will most likely be aware that there was something deeper to what Eloise said, and that might start to bother him, which could cause tension between the pair. In the next part of the trailer, it felt like it was all about Colin getting closer to understanding Penelope's alias, and Penelope starting to slip up and feel the pressure. For example, it looked like she was about to faint when she went to her room on her own. Colin found her with ink all over her hands, and Eloise also said again that until he knows the real you, he cannot possibly love you. Penelope responded by saying, Colin cannot know my secret. Whistledown is power. 
So it seems like although she does want to be with Colin, Lady Whistledown is something that she's just simply not able to let go of mainly because of the power that it gives her. It's another love in her life, something that she just can't step away from. Then there was probably the most powerful line in the trailer, which was delivered by Eloise. She said, if it's too difficult for you to reveal the truth, I will reveal it to him myself. As we then embarked onto the final part of the trailer, there was a line from Colin, which he said to Penelope, where he said, is there some secret you're not telling me? This was as everybody was reading Lady Whistledown's latest post. There was then a voiceover from Lady Whistledown where she said, While most seasons of our marriage mart follow a pattern, this season is surely a surprise. As this was said, there was a shot of Francesca and Kilmartin, who we know from the novels have a sad ending. There was one of Anthony and Kate, which are most probably included to represent the pattern, even though their journey was disruptive. But there was also Benedict and Lady Tilly Arnold, which could be setting up the fourth season of the show. Benedict's story is the third novel, but it very much seems like his story could well become the fourth season. Plus, there was also a shot of Marcus and Violet dancing together. We know that from the Queen Charlotte show, Violet said she was ready to get back out there, so I'm predicting that the both of them are going to hit it off. Shortly after this, there was a shot of Penelope putting away her writing equipment, which was symbolic of Lady Whistledown, and as she was doing it, she took a look at her ring, and it seemed like she was weighing up in her mind what was more important to her, Whistledown or Colin. So that's probably going to be a theme that occurs quite a bit in the show. Plus, with her mother telling her that her duty is to cater to Mr. Bridgerton's dreams and Penelope responding by saying, what about my dreams? It shows that she herself is most likely going to be questioning if she wants to happily ever after with a man if it means that she's going to have to give up something that's so important to her. The final line in the trailer was from the voiceover of Whistledown where she said, gossip as I might, this author cannot tolerate a lie. We know that there's a hunt to find the identity of Whistledown and there's a cash reward. Within the novel, Cressida is somebody that goes on to claim to be Whistledown. So I wonder if this line is going to be from the letter that Whistledown publishes where she's stating that Cressida is lying. It would be a good little piece of revenge seeing as though Cressida tried to humiliate Penelope on several occasions in the previous part of the season. Then from there, the trailer essentially came to a close. There's not long to go until the final part of the season gets released. The first part did feel like it was missing something, but I would say, judging by what we've been given in the two-minute trailer, it looks like part two is going to be a lot more exciting than the first four episodes, so I can't wait to see what's going to happen. So, there you have it. Bridgerton Season 3 Part 2 Trailer Explained. If you want to see a full breakdown on Bridgerton Season 3, then click on the card in the top corner. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find many other videos on the show as well. What do you think will happen? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for tuning into the video and I'll see you in the next one.